What's up, Aries? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at your week's uh, energies starting September 23rd, 2024. Aries, I hope all is well. This week I'm using one of Ciro Marchetti's uh, tarot decks. I believe it's the Tarot Dreams. May have had a couple of versions of Tarot Dreams, but I believe that this is it. Not reading any uh, reversals here. Just going to give it a good shuffle and see what the potential energy is coming up for you this week. And then also I'm throwing some cards from the teacup deck. And these are just messages if they apply to you, so be it. If they don't, don't worry about it. All right, energies for my Rams this week was coming up for Aries. What is the energies for Aries this week? All right, Aries, here we go. We're going to start off with the, uh, well, you can start off with the Ten of Pentacles. It's a good start, right? Ten of Pentacles is the abundance card. So this is, um, of course, big money. That could be uh, coming your way through any forms of, um, you know, bonus money, promotions, pay raises, inheritances, and always read the Ten of Pentacles. If it is the absence of money, Aries, then you're feeling abundant about something in some area, other area of your life. Now, that could be for the single rams out there who are just, you know, independently strong, taking care of your own needs. For those who are in, um, you know, relationship, coupled relationships, partnerships, then you're equally taking care of each other's wants or needs. This is a card that represents um, gambling, as well. So, you know, if you're the risk taking ram out there and you like to do the lottery, scratch off, play, you know, go to the casino, just play responsibly. Okay, we start off with the Ten of Pentacles. Money could also be um, coming in for Aries and unknown sources. Now, that could be, well, it could be known or unknown sources. Let me put it that way. And it also could be reviewed as. Possibly your money is being, um, you know, your financial picture, your outlook, your financial outlook is looking better or brighter or beginning to. Yep, we have the Ace of Wands. It sits on top of the uh, Ten of Pentacles. Well, that's good news coming in. So for some of you, it may be attached to that money. Uh, this is a card that begins something, um, you know, in the forms of uh, beginning stages of passion. So that could be a relationship. That could be a, a business startup. That could be... Um, any kind of creative, uh, you know, expression or hobbies, the good news that come, you know, that may come to you and put a smile on your face may come from any source. It's always a touch of surprise, too, with the Ace of Wands. Then we have the Major Arcana of the Fool. Okay, so the Major Arcana of the Fool is here. This is about new beginnings, Aries, in some area. Now, you may have something already planned or lined up to do. And maybe you were a little bit fearful or hesitant to do so. Just go ahead and do it. The universe is here to support you. And um, just do it, okay? Those, you know, that energy is for those rams who may have uh, something planned or lined up to do uh, in terms of something in, uh, relative to a new beginning. For the other rams, if you don't have anything planned or lined up, the fool always comes in and has the other aspect of, well, there's something new that's about to begin for you in some fashion. Following the major arcana of the fool, now we have the uh, six of swords, okay? So the six of swords is that could be some relief for some rams out there this week where you may have been dealing with some sort of stress in the previous week or a couple days ago, in the recent past. Things are, you know, leveling off, calming down. Things are clearing up, smooth sailing, smooth passages. Some rams may be... Um, you know, traveling this week, if you are, you're safe to and from. And then also I read the Six of Swords as someone considering seriously, thinking seriously about moving and relocating to a different area. Now, whether or not we, got, we have the big money card here, the Ten of Pentacles, if it has anything to do with purchasing property or a home, it doesn't matter. I just feel that there's someone who is deciding or making a decision to move somewhere else. On top of that, we have, yep, the Four of Cups. This is socializing, okay? So it could be in the form of celebrations, just, you know, getting together with family members, friends, romantic partners, 
uh, having a good time, equal number of cups. You know, what you give emotionally this week is what you're going to get back. Oftentimes I read the four of cups as, you know, spending that quality time with family members, friends, or romantic partners. It could be eating out at diners or restaurants. Just being very social. More money is in the horizon here for Aries. It's the king of pentacles. Now, again, this is the promotion. This is the business resources becoming available. If you are running a business, could be a uh, at home business or whatever. Uh, this could be the, um, of course, the boss in the workplace environment could represent a promotion for someone. It still would be in alignment with that 10 of pentacles when it comes to, you know, substantial pay raises or bonus money. Now, this is a court card, so it could be that um, the attributes that come out of this King of Pentacles could be, you know, what people see and view you as someone who is always dependable, reliable, um, always there, you know, um, well, you know, willing and ready to lend some sort of assistance, but it doesn't always have to relate to money. Okay. Or it could be because it follows the four of cups, then, you know, um, these cups, this four of cups here would represent relationships. So it could be someone new coming in for those singles who, you know, if that's the case, then there's a new connection. Uh, if so, it doesn't necessarily have to be an earth sign, you know, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, but it very well could be. And this person is already doing something uh, very lucrative in the line of work or career that they have chosen. They may be running their own business. I always say they have pocket change. Never coming across as being stingy or selfish, always willing to sh uh, share. And then they like the finer things in life. They come across as a little bit, not overly materialistic. Let me just rephrase. They're not overly materialistic, but they do like the finer things in life. Good clothes, you know, good food, you know, that sort of uh, energy. All right, following the King of Pentacles, now we have the, um, not reading reversals here, I don't know how that got reversed, but it's the Major Arcana, the Death card, okay? Never physically uh, denotes death. It just means that there's some sort of ending. Now, you do have the full card, so a new beginning, so maybe something's going on with uh, an Aries specific that's coming to an end, and you're just anticipating, um, looking forward and towards that new beginning. So whatever this is for you, it's a major uh, arcana, so it's usually involving major life transformation. Now, it could be just ending stuff, getting rid of stuff, material things, and then um, whatever it is that, you know, is put to an end, something new definitely replaces that energy, all right? Following the death card, on top of it is the Ace of Swords. Two aces in a row. It mirrors over here to the Ace of Wands. is always auspicious. This card represents uh, clarity, seeking some sort of clarity. Um, you know, it may have something to do with, uh, you know, confidence level in, you know, some areas. Also, it is uh, clearing up any types of confusion, uncertainties. Uh, could be fear, doubts centered around a situation, person, or event. Victory and success also comes with the uh, Ace of Swords energy and also looking and seeking uh, some sort of uh, adventure or excitement. All right. First actions and first moves. There we have the... Ace of Swords mirrors over here to the Six of Swords. What I just mentioned about the Six of Swords, where someone could be seriously considering moving to a different area. First time maybe thinking about that or maybe the first time moving to a different area. Anyway, what's up next is the Major Arcana of the Chariot. Wow. Okay, so there is a, a strong force of energy that is, you know, moving towards you or you're moving towards it. This car, yeah, I was going to say car. <laughs> it represents vehicles, but... The chariot represents that there could be for some rams this week a very rapid change of energy. It's usually positive. Okay, think in terms of the death card and, you know, um, the fool coming in play here for you in this spread. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but I think that overall the um, energy is very benefic, beneficial. Okay. Um, and something positive. So this chariot here represents there is going to be some sort of rapid change occurring for Aries. Um, 
again, in a positive way. So some of you may be traveling again, like I said, with the Six of Swords. If you are, you're safe to and from. I equate the chariot with that of the star card. Whatever it is that you're wishing for, hoping for, praying for this week, Aries, it may manifest for you. Now, just don't be the ram that gets behind any types or any source of vehicles. Disregard the speeding limit because you will end up with a moving violation. Some rams may be having to deal with car repairs this week, major or minor. Um, yeah, social media, social networking could be just an expansion or whatever your favorite social energies are. Could be a greater um, point of interest for a lot of Aries. Now, that could be looking for romance, looking for work, just staying in touch and, you know, with communication with family members, friends who may or may not be at a distance, but it's all good. All right, so there we go. The um, Major Arcana, the Chariot. Now we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is the father of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive. This represents male energy, so it could be uh, for any, you know, um, ram that comes through that's a male. It could be that person. It could be your father, your grandfather, your brother, your uncle. Pay attention to your intuition this week, Aries. It's very important. The King comes in here to um, help you, guide you making sure that you're making the right decisions, choices for yourself moving forward. Also to the King of Cups, when you receive this card in your spread, could mean for some Aries here that the, you know, the relationships that you are attached to now, you're getting some sort of emotional satisfaction, fulfillment, contentment out of that relationship. The King has a, a tendency to unite romantic partners as well as platonic friendships on top of the king of cups here now for you we have the seven of swords seven of swords is those people now of course it sits on the court card the king of cups so that may be relevant you know to someone out there that these people from your past whether they're exes they're you know excommunicated friends or it could be family members that you have distanced yourself from these energies usually as I read, is still appearing or lingering around in some fashion. Just note that um, you have the king. It sits on top of that king of cups where I said trust your intuition. That if these people resurface, communicate, or try to reach out to you, that they are they're not up to any good Aries. Be careful. Okay, they're still conflicted here. And for any other Aries, if it's not involving that type of energy of what I just mentioned, it could be that whatever material-wise... Things that you may have lost, thought you lost, misplaced, put down, and forgot about resurfaces with the Seven of Swords. After the Seven of Swords, now we have the Eight of Swords, okay? The Eight of Swords here is um, tricky in, in two parts here. The, the Eight of Swords is always about worry, the anxiety, uh, fears, doubts, uncertainty, right? Sleepless nights, possibly. Breaking communication with family members. But on the flip side here, you got to be careful here and not allowing yourself to, you know, plague your own uh, mind with unnecessary, you know, um, well, it might be that you're just feeling like you're being pulled or strained into making, you know, many decisions this week, maybe related to other people, maybe just related to whatever it is that you got to do this week. That's what I always get with the Eight of Swords. So, but if it's real and you're dealing with the Eight of Swords type of energy this week, Aries, deal with it. You don't want to allow this energy to linger. So, you know, I always talk about it may lead to the Nine of Swords if you don't do anything about it, which could be much worse. Uh, on the other hand, the tricky part again, don't play with yourself this week in terms of your mind, your own mental energies, that you could be worried about something specific could be involving a person or a situation and has yet to bear fruit or come to pass nine times out of 10, whatever it is that you may be um, worried about that hasn't come to pass never seems to turn out the way that you have uh, possibly compiled it up in your mind. So don't do yourself a um, disservice or an injustice to yourself. So be careful here with the eight of swords. Up next, now we have the Major Arcana, the World card. So opportunities. Now, like that Death card, there is a chapter that's ending for you, Aries, in some area. And a new chapter is about to begin. 
All right. This is always represented in look, it's underneath the King of Pentacles. So this is opportunity. So it could be business opportunities. It could be a job, career change, you know, something going on with may or may not be involving money, but I feel it's work related or yeah, I'm going to say business money could be work related. There's an opportunity that could be coming through that's unexpected or unexpected for some rams. This world card also, too, represents all relationships. On top of that, we have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords here, we already got the Chariot. So this could be somebody new coming in here, Aries, who may uh, have taken up some sort of interest in you. I always say they could be checking you out through social media, but we have not. If we don't get the Moon or the Seven of Cups here at the end... Then these people are just, you know, um, taking up some sort of new interest in you. This could be a neighbor, co-worker, or it could be a friend, you know, who hasn't revealed, you know, how they may feel about you right now. This is first actions, just like this, you know, Ace of Swords there, first actions, first moves. I always get global network news, and that's just information. It could be on a local scale and whatever, your local news information, nothing, you know, Nothing really serious. If I was reading this in reverse, and I always say, be careful of receiving misinformation, disinformation, because something is not quite right. But, you know, because I'm not reading reverse, this is just information coming through. All right. New conversations taking place with people. Last card I have for you. Well, you finish off with the lovers, so that's not bad. Aries, you finish off with the lovers. Lovers, once you have the lovers in your spread, um, really any interactions or dealings with anybody, whether they're romantic partners, friends, family members, and even including the Seven of Swords, <laughs> you should should be eye to eye and being on the same page with one another. And I always regard the lovers as a level, level of playing field or whatever, you know, that nothing could come along and disrupt any interactions or, you know, interfere with your relationships, whether, again, they're family members, romantic partners, or friends, the uh, or business partners, because the lovers has a tendency to unite business partners, or it could be referencing business partners. So uh, along with that, the lovers can bring in new business partnerships, or it could be uh, platonic friendships, definitely romantic you know, um, friendship. So it's just spending quality time with all those people involved here. And that is our lovers, the major arcana. So this is what I have, uh, for you, uh, Aries. Now keep in mind that the, uh, death card is over top of the lovers. So that may be some sort of significance, uh, to someone here when it comes to a decision, it may be the first decision. Now that could be the move. It could be involving a, a, a person, whatever that situation may mean for you. You know, you have to keep in mind that these are just general, you know, readings. And I'm just giving you the information that I feel uh, could be uh, what's happening for you potentially this week. But, you know, you only take what I say with a grain of salt and leave the rest alone. Anyway, this is what I have for you, Aries. In my opinion, it's not too bad. You really got some good energy here capitalize on that energy okay so you got the death card the lovers the uh fool you have the chariot as well as the ten of pentacles the world card so this is a lot of positive energy here so let's see how the energy plays out for you all right so from the tea deck teacup deck i'm sorry let's see what the messages are and again you can just use these messages however you want if they apply to you aries so be it. If it don't, don't worry about it. All right. So the first message here for you, uh, Aries, is uh, moving. <laughs> Didn't I say? Six of, <laughs> six of swords. New house, relocating, leaving someone or something behind. Next one up is water sign. This is, yeah, this situation involves a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Next one up here for you is turned up. Partying, amazing, cool, exciting. Something or someone is popping off. Next one for you is happiness. Happiness is here on its way. I'm sorry. Happiness is here or on its way. Expressing gratitude, pleased with life. And the last card I have for you, Aries, is burning money. Burning through cash, can't save, spends money faster than they can earn it. Again, these are just messages. If they apply to you, 
then so be it. But anyway, this is Soul from Intuitive Tarot. Aries giving you my best impression. Once again, take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. However, please like the video, share the video, comment. Um, you guys have a nice, safe week ahead. Always come back to get more of these messages from me, Aries. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.